Hello and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on this hairstyle which has been my favorite go-to hairstyle lately, the Loose Beachy Waves. I think they're so fun and pretty and gives like an effortless cool vibe to the hair. And anyone can easily achieve this hairstyle so let's get into it. So I'm just sectioning my hair into two sides so I can just work with the side and then we'll do the side after. And the waver I'm going to be using today is also from INH Hair. This is the waver I've been using for a while when I do my hair like this. So I really like this one. I like how the waves look in my hair. I also like that this barrel isn't super clunky and heavy because that can be really tiring on your hand especially. But I just don't like that feel. I like that this is like a happy medium, if you will. But if you don't have a waiver yet and you are in need of one, I would definitely give this one a try. I have no bad things to say about it. And I like to work in smaller sections like this because I do feel like it gives my hair more volume. Another little tip I found that I like to do on my hair, instead of going in like you typically would like this for a wave, for some reason I just don't like how that looks on my hair. So I go in with it upside down like this and it kind of lifts at the root a little bit more too i don't know if that's like actually a thing or if it's just in my head but yeah i just hold it like this and i start at the very top and i hold it depending on the temperature you do yours at i usually do maybe like 10 seconds max because like i said i have fine thin hair so i don't need to hold it on there that long and then because my hair thins out even more as i go towards the bottom i hold it on for even less Again with this next piece, starting all the way at the top, going up as far as I can on that piece of hair. And as I go down, I'm only scooching down the hair just a little bit. Okay, so that is with this side done. As you can tell for comparison, it definitely gives a little bit more volume. I mean, I haven't run my hands through it yet, so it kind of spruces it up even a little bit more, but I try to wait till it's not hot anymore. But you can already tell the difference, I feel like but it gives a little bit more volume and texture, which I love. And when you first do it up at the top here, as you can tell, it leaves a little bit of kind of a dent, but it goes away and you don't even notice it. Like once I kind of moved around with my fingers and stuff, you can't even really tell that it's there. But if that bothers you, maybe try waving it the other way that I said that I don't like to do. That might kind of prevent it a little bit, but I kind of like to do it that way because it just really lifts at my roots more. I don't know what it is, but... <laughs> I just love to do it that way. So once I've done both of the sides, I actually like to take my hair to the back. And I'll grab just a little section. So it brings those two sides in the back together. And this doesn't have to be precise at all, but again, taking it in upside down. And I just go at the root like this and hold it down. Just so I'm lifting it up like this and straight versus it wanting to separate. And I'll kind of go down the hair a little as well, but I don't really need to go all the way down because I've already waved these pieces. I'm just trying to kind of redirect the hairline to go straight back. I'm absolutely sweating in this top. I don't know why I put this on with my bathroom door closed because in the heat from this thing is just radiating. And then I'll just kind of take my hands at the roots like this. Cause like I said, it wants to kind of create like those little divots, which you can't honestly really even see, but that might bother some people. It doesn't really bother me. But when I go like this, it really kind of lifts at the roots. It looks kind of crazy. It's kind of giving a little witchy vibes, but I'm not mad about it. I feel like there's a fine line between like messy, cute mermaid hair and then like crazy witch. And this is the part I was talking about where my hair usually wants to separate, but when I go back with that waver like I showed you, it kind of helps conceal it a little bit. But I genuinely just think it's because my hair is so fine. It just right in the back. It's so annoying. And it's just nice to have a hairstyle where I feel like I can get away with just rocking my natural hair and I don't have to throw extensions in. But I do have extensions to match the texture of this hair perfectly. 
The extensions are also from INH Hair just because I genuinely love them. If you see me posting online, I'm usually wearing an extension piece by them because they're just so good. So since I've already done my hair, these are already styled for you. They stay like this because they are not real human hair, but I totally think it could pass as real hair in my opinion. I think they look so nice. I know I'm not doing justice with them sitting in the bag right now, but I'll put them in and show you in just a second. And this one right here is the short 15 inch beach waves in the color champagne blonde. My favorite shade from them is sandy blonde because my hair is a little bit darker, but I do find that the champagne blonde shade still blends pretty seamlessly with my hair. And I have the same exact style, but these ones are extra long beachy waves and the length is 24 inches. So quite a big difference there. And then I also have this third option, which is essentially the same as the one I just showed you, the extra long 24 inches, but I actually cut these so they're not as long. So I have a different variation of lengths to choose from depending on whatever I'm feeling that day or just whatever I feel like will look good with the outfit I have on. So first we'll do the short 15 inch ones. It's almost like the same length as my hair. I feel like my hair is getting a lot longer, which I am loving. I really wanna grow my hair out. Sorry if you can hear Wilson, he's barking right now. And if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you already know the name of the game here, how I apply my extensions. I feel like I've showed you quite a few times, but if you're new here, I'll go ahead and show you how easy it is to apply these extensions. And like I said, this is in the shade Champagne Blonde, and it's not going to blend as well as the Sandy Blonde color would, but I just want to show you anyways, because these are like my favorite extensions. So we're just going to work with what we got. And all three of the sets of the extensions I showed you come with seven pieces. So you have a longer four-piece weft here. And then you have this three-piece weft, another three-piece weft. This one's a little bit shorter. And then you have four of these two-piece wefts. One, two, three, four. So you've got a lot of pieces to work with. I find because my hair is so thin that I don't need to use all these pieces or it'll look like I have too much going on and it just doesn't blend as well. So if you have thicker hair, obviously you're going to want to put more extensions in because it'll probably blend a little bit better. But for my finer thin hair girlies, I feel like less is more. So I'll be applying this shorter three piece weft first, taking my hair to the back and I will just section it and then just clip it back, well up I guess and out of the way. And I'll just slide those into place. and I'll clip them just right there. Then taking the hair down again, I will clip another little section and I will be applying this other three weft, but it is a little bit wider to kind of match with the width of my head here because we're going up a little bit higher. So that is what it is looking like so far. The blend isn't like perfect, but I feel like I can still pretty much get away with it. I wish I had the sandy blonde shade color to show you because then this blend would look so good. But like I said, my hair used to be pretty blonde, so that's why I got it in this shade, but the sandy blonde is where it's at. And lastly, for this hair look, we are just gonna be applying a smaller 2F over here and then another smaller 2F over here. So I just sectioned it up like this, moving enough hair up that when I put it down, you're obviously not gonna be seeing the little wefts underneath because these are not rooted, they don't blend as well, but if these were rooted, you wouldn't even be able to tell that these were in my hair at all and I wouldn't have to really worry so much about how much hair I'm lifting up. If you have thick hair, you really don't have to worry about it, but my thin hair likes to separate really easily and get flat and you can kind of sometimes see the weft throughout so I have to be a little bit more conscious of the amount of hair that I'm pulling up so it blends really nice. I'll just take the left there, clip it in, and clip it in the back. And the more you wear these hair extensions, the better they start to look, in my opinion, because they don't look as shiny and they kind of resemble like the natural hair a little bit more but look at the difference how much more volume that just gave me and then clipping on this side as well i mean look at the volume difference that is just crazy to me and the fact that this isn't even real hair and it stays styled like this and you don't have to worry about it is just 
a game changer because it already takes so long to, you know, do your own hair. And then on top of it, if you have to do extensions as well, it's just a whole nother ball game. So it's so nice to just have the option to throw extensions in that are already styled for you and stay that way. And that's what it looks like from the back as well. It kind of makes my hair a little bit more poofier as well. I feel like I need to show you in like natural lighting versus my awful bathroom lighting that we're working with right now. But I'm actually going to take these ones out because I love the length of the long ones and I'm just excited to show you. Okay, so starting from scratch again, we're next going to be applying these extra long 24 inch ones. They are absolutely stunning, but they are very long. I start by applying the shorter 3 weft, then the longer 3 weft next. I will do a 2 weft on one side and then another 2 weft on the other side. I can't even fit these extensions into the frame fully because they're just so long, but they look so pretty. I mean, for being much blonder, I feel like the blend isn't too terribly bad. Like, it's still kind of working. I feel like maybe I should take you in a little bit better lighting, like I said, because this bathroom just doesn't do it justice. I feel like I'm messing with my hair so much from pulling these extensions in and out that it's like losing the wave in like my real hair, but it still looks pretty cute. And lastly, we have this extension set, which is the same. I just cut it, so it was originally 24 inches and I'm not even sure how much I took off. It's probably like 20 inches now, if I had to guess. So I'll put these in so you can kind of see a little bit of a difference. I do the same for this set, applying a shorter three weft first, then the longer three weft next. I apply a two weft on one side and then another two weft on the other side. So I just realized that's the one I didn't cut. So that's actually the difference. You can see this is how long they originally were and this is the length that I cut them to. How did I not realize that this one was longer? <laughs> is it just me or do these ones blend better? I don't know what it is. I applied the same amount of wefts. One, two, three, four. That's the longer one I just had in. The only thing that throws me off sometimes is like I said, because this isn't the exact color shade, I feel like the reason I don't get away with it is because down here, these strands are pretty dark and it's pretty blonde in the extensions. So if I can just hide those, I can get away with this color. But I just feel like this length looks a little bit more natural. Like, yeah, maybe that could be her real hair versus the one I just had on. Although it is beautiful and I really love to wear that one. I feel like it's so beachy and like mermaid vibes. It doesn't always look the most realistic. And sometimes I just want it to look like, oh yeah, that's for sure her real hair if you didn't know me. You know, the vibes. I really need to buy this extension set in sandy blonde because I love the style of these. Like the fact that I did not have to wave these, so much time saved, like incredible. I also just realized that I wore this sweater in the last video that I uploaded, but I'm an outfit repeater. Like I buy clothes because I genuinely love them and I'm gonna wear the hell out of them. I love this sweater. I got it from TJ Maxx. I'm really into stripes right now. How's she looking from, well, let's do the side view first. I feel like that looks pretty good. I mean, I will have to say this one that I cut myself is my favorite. And that's what's nice about extensions is you can buy whatever length you need and cut them to however you like. It's not permanent, you know, you can always cut more off so just you know cut a little bit at a time and then if you think you want more off just keep on going at it and kind of customize it to your hair type and kind of whatever hairstyle you're going towards i kind of like that it's a little bit more blunt of a cut here on the ends because my hair like i said naturally tapers off and gets more thin at the ends so i like how it looks like full volume all the way to the bottom now like even if i grow my hair to this length it still will never look this full, so a girl can dream, and that's why I'm thankful for extensions and for INH hair because they have such good extensions. I'm not even just saying that, like I genuinely love them. I've been wearing extensions for like over a decade now. I started wearing them in high school, and 
I just could never go back. And I do have a discount code with INH hair if you want to try some extensions out or try these ones out in particular. It's just KD15 to save yourself some money, but they also do a lot of sales throughout the year. If you can catch them, they always list it on their Instagram as well. Like they just had one for the eclipse that happened and they had a really good sale. I think it was like I don't know, maybe 50% off on their ponytails or something, which I also love their fun wrap ponies as well. If you're seeing someone with a really nice ponytail, I guarantee you they have a fake pony in or extensions in of some kind, so do not be deceived. Even with me, like I post pictures on my Instagram with my extensions in, my hair looks nice, but that's not the reality of it. So yeah, if you've never tried extensions before, I would highly suggest checking out INH hair or whatever company you feel comfortable with because they just really change the hair game for me. Another way I love to wear this hairstyle is when I do my tiny little braids in the front. I'll try to insert a picture if I remember of what that looks like because I just don't think I want to do that today. And then once I braid my hair because it's so fine and thin, it'll stay that way where it's like really tight and I can't go back. So I'll just insert a little photo for you for some inspo because that hairstyle is so cute in summary. I love to do that. And I find adding little details like that into my hair kind of makes me feel like I'm switching up my hair vibe a little bit more. I don't get so bored with my hair as much when I do little different things like that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's hair tutorial review kind of of INH hair. And no, this video is not sponsored at all. I just genuinely love their hair extensions. That's why you usually see me wearing them or talking about them quite often because I'm an extension girly and I love to switch up my hair vibe all the time. And INH hair and all their hair pieces just make it possible for me, especially their bangs. I love wearing their bangs. Those are just game changer for me because I genuinely wish I could have bangs myself, but then my hair would probably be even more thin and I'm just, I'm not about that. Maybe one day we'll see, I don't know, but I do love bangs and their bangs are everything. I post them on my Instagram all the time and they look real in my opinion. So yeah, whether you're like someone who's interested in bangs or just wavy extensions like this, straight hair, ponies, buns, they really have it all. They have different hot tools as well. They just came out with the interchangeable like three piece quick styler i don't know exactly what it's called it's kind of a mouthful something like that but i have been loving that hot tool as well but yeah if there's any videos you would like to see from me in the future just shoot me a dm leave a comment down below whatever you gotta do to let your girl know i will be happy to film that for you and thank you so much for being here and watching today's video i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in my next one love ya So, 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 I'll have to play.